Good morning to you. Guy Watson here, Bognor Regis Bonsai. Well today is uh, Tuesday the 22nd of November. I've got another juniper squamata here that needs a bit of a tidy up. I don't think I've done anything to this tree since I bought it. It must have been about four years ago. Apart from repot it when I got it because it was in that black claggy nursery soil. So we got rid of that. And I've just done nothing to it since. But I think we need to do a bit of a prune up on it. That's what we're going to look at now. Let's just take off some long branches so we can see what the hell's going on in there. In actual fact, I think this one here is too low. We'll have that off completely. And that one there is too low. Right, at least now I can see, see what the trunk is. Right, let's get the camera to a better position and we'll be back. Okay then. Well, I'll leave the screen at that side for now. But um, I think this branch here has to be shortened back. I think I'm going to take it back to here. There we go. Then in the middle of the tree there we have a little branch coming up from the crotch growth. This thing here is going straight down, so we'll remove that. Now this branch here, I think I'll apply some wire to this. But first of all, we'll take off this branch here that's going straight up. And we'll shorten it back to here. And we've got another branch here that needs to be shortened. And another one over here that needs to be shortened. That's going down, so we'll take that one off totally. What I think I need to do now, I think I want to wire this one. So we'll anchor it around the trunk. Is, I think this is about a 4 mil wire. If it's not enough, we'll have to double it. just want to put a bit of bends onto this because it's got very straight in its years of neglect. Cool, well, we've had some water come down over here in the last about five, four or five days. Just been to our local supermarket. There's a little rife small river that runs at the end of the car park that's overflowed car park is about a foot underwater you've got to get to actually get to the supermarket you've got to park about half a mile away and walk bit of a pain but had to be done otherwise the cupboards would be empty right, let's get some of that rubbish out of the way Right, how are we going to do this? I think if this leading forward like this, I think this will have to be towards the front. It's got to be repotted at that sort of angle. But we'll give it a bend. Not quite as severe as Tony gives to his trees. But I just want to shorten the branch a bit. Right, that is blocking everything coming downhill. This over here is way too long. Let's try and get some shape to this damn thing. That's going straight down. Take these close off to the trunk. The 
just trim off the ends of these try and encourage a bit of bushy growth let's go straight up so we don't want that one that's coming out from the crotch so we'll get rid of that right that's not looking too bad there Right, let's just see what you can actually see on that camera. Have I been cutting all that off off camera? Possibly not. Right, let's go up the tree. Okay, let's look at this branch here. Well, for a start, there's one coming off from the crotch, so we'll get rid of that. That could actually be wired out there, can't it? I'll go and get some wire. I nearly went back to one of my basic mistakes then of just looking at one branch possibly thinking of wiring around the trunk but when I look at it we've got this branch over here and this one here so I'm going to think of the two bark principle two branch 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 I know what I mean so we'll take it around the trunk to anchor it Come down here. So at least wiring at this time of year. The branches won't, or well, there'll be very little growth on the tree. So we might, the branches might well set with very little scarring. At least that's what I was thinking. If other people know differently, please let me know. But I thought I'd give it a go. I'll just leave that there for now. And we'll come over here. Remove a bit of growth from in here before I start wiring. See, I will be shortening this branch as well. Let's just get the wire on. All right, we'll put that, I'll bend that wire back in there for now. I'm going to get that as a bend. If this is, no, where did I say the front? Well, the front's going to be here. So we'll try and bend this one around to the front. And then back around a bit. Right, and then we'll just chop the end off. Okay, some foliage in here that needs tidying up. I don't know if you can actually see that because this branch is too long. Okay, I'll shorten that one back to there. I think I need to sharpen these scissors. That's going a bit too straight up and I'll take that branch off. Too much growth near the trunk for the... Oh, I've just chopped the whole thing off. Right, OK, never mind. What I will do is I'll shorten back the whole branch. No problem. And I think this whole lot here can go. Too long here. 
don't like that one there. As you can see, it's not really been worked on at all, this tree. Still way too much foliage in here, isn't there? To, oh, let's go back to in there for now and I'll get another wire for that and possibly wire that with this one down here so wire these two together so I'll get a wire long enough for that okay well I've been looking at this lot here I'm going to wire this branch and that branch and I don't like the look of this one because it's blocking the view of the whole tree so that comes off That's opened up the tree a lot. See what we're playing at now. I think that one, well we'll have a look at that in a minute. No we won't, we'll have a look now. Yes, that one can come off. Or should I? Yes. We'll leave this little branch here. If you can see that little branch in there. May be needed. This one might have to be cut off in future. Leave that one there, and the bend, and this little one here. Well, might, that might be too near on the inside. Well, let's just see how these two come out. Oh, where's my wire? Right. You probably saw me then bending down to pick the wire up. I'm still finding that a bit of a strain. I've been told I've got to wait until next Easter to have my right hip operated on. Then probably wait another six months after that before I get the left knee done. But we'll survive somehow. At least I can still do my bonsai, which is the main thing that keeps me going. Right, so let's see how that's going to bend. And then I think we can have this down, downward facing lock off. Trim up the ends of this one a bit. Trim that up. That's not looking too bad now. And how are we going to put this one? Possibly like that. Then we have more downward branches here that need to be cut off. It's not downward, so we'll just shorten that one. In actual fact, I'm going to chop this whole thing off to there. Just leave that branch going out there. There's a lot of upward facing branches here. We'll shorten these a lot. Oops, it's already removed. Right. And there's one going right down. Now there are branches here on the inside of this bend I've just put in. Might actually have to wait until I get the wire off. This just needs tidying up. Huh. 
Oh well that'll do, that actually looks tidier even though I didn't mean to cut it there. There we go. Alright, let's move up the tree. Um, you know, I'm going to take this one off. We've got this one here, this one above it. Right, the branches here are inside of the um, bend. Um, if, let me think which one the front, the front's going to be here. Looking at it from you here, this is straight up, so we don't need that, and we can prune off that one. Right, let's go up the tree and see what we want to do up there. In actual fact, before I take you up the tree, I don't like this one here, which is going straight up from this branch. That's an easy one to cut off. Right, let's pull it up a bit, see what we got at the top here. Now, as I said, if this is going to be the front, let's get something to wedge it. Ooh. I think that'll be the front there. I know we've taken a lot of foliage off, but for its first styling, it needed to be done. And then I think this has to come right off here. Major cut, but there we go. That's going straight. Right now, then we so if I wire that up, I can make the apex out of that. So let me go and get a nice piece of wire for that, and that'll nearly be it. Okay, we're looking at the top of this tree. Yeah, I think we can just pull a bit of wire in, anchor it around here. And then we can just wire this one up and bring it up to be the new apex. Right, well that's it wired up, let's pull it up, possibly bring it around like that, yes I quite like that, and we can chop this end bit off, Shorten this bit here. There's a bit of a rumbungus in here, so we'll take that right back. Oh, we can shorten this one right back. There's some more shortening. Well, I think this tree has certainly changed from when I started. For the better or the worse? Well, it can't be really for the worse. Right. There's a little branch up there I don't like because it's going straight up. And there's a bit of right next to the trunk, there's another piece. That one there looks too long. Okay, 
I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. So let me give you a 360. Can you see the whole tree for a 360? Yes, I think you can. Right, here we go. That is what I perceive as the front. Actually, I don't like this. We've got an eye poker coming right out at us. So, and then bend it down slightly. Or maybe we could take it up and then down. Now I've done that, it needs to be shortened. Always happens with me on 360s, this. Always find something that I've missed. Forward planning, I think that's what they call it, and I'm lacking it. You know, it's this long one here that doesn't look right. I will take that back to there. Now it looks less of an eye poker. Let's go back to the 360. So we have the, there's the, what I perceive as being the front. Hopefully that apex will be looking all right. In future I might have to bend it back a bit. Then we go round to the side. There's the back. And then to the front again. What we'll do, we'll just shorten these bits that are hanging down and off camera I will apply some cut paste and then put it back on the bench and that'll do for winter. So there we are, a Juniper Squamata first styling. Catch you next time. Well I have to admit, while I was just looking at the um, editing before I actually published this, I noticed I didn't really like the apex going off to the left at the front. So I've applied a bit of wire up here and then bent it round a bit and I think that makes it look a lot more tree-like form. Okay, so that's why I'm going to leave it now for the winter. Hope you agree that it's better off like that. Right, thank you very much. Catch you later.